Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, US markets towards the uh, evening session here. At uh, It's approaching uh, 7 p.m. UK time. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, uh, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and uh, understand what's happening in the US session, given the fact that we are going to take our cue from that into uh, tomorrow's trading session into Europe. So let's see exactly where we stand now. In terms of US markets at present, the Dow down 24 points, the S&P certainly remains weak, the Nasdaq remains weak. So US markets have stopped the actual float higher now and uh, certainly have come back to reality. So at present, still failing to uh, to actually thrust higher. So it'll be interesting to see how the US session certainly closes, especially given the fact that the uh, European session certainly finished stellar. Okay, now let's uh, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here. In terms of economic data, first and foremost, you have uh, Chinese inflation out overnight, certainly weaker than expected. Uh, in terms of the market itself, European data, nothing of any major important importance other than the fact that Mr. Draghi has turned hawkish now, and that certainly has caused the dollar certainly to uh, to start to pivot lower. Uh, in terms of uh, US data, you have continued jobless claims, initial jobless claims certainly could both coming in on the weaker side thereby helping the uh, the jobs picture and therefore affirming the expectations or increasing the expectations of a of March rate hike. Export prices and import prices certainly both ticking higher, again in, in, indicating that inflation is ticking higher and therefore dollars certainly gaining ground there too. Okay, In terms of the, um, the rest of the session, uh, nothing really of any major importance. The only real market moving news is the price of oil. If you bring up the chart of oil you can see here certainly liquidated pretty impressively on the daily chart you can see we are coming into support around the 47.5 47.6 level currently trading around the 49 zone okay in terms of the US markets let's look at the actual technical picture now uh, daily chart the S&P 500 remains into gap fill territory okay so certainly into gap fill support here on the daily chart 60 minute chart at the moment again uh, you do have further support down at 23.55 but there's plenty of support here currently in this zone okay so 2360 and obviously like I said gap fill support there is an unfilled gap above that certainly needs targeting at 2383 so that's certainly watch out for the gap above we did have an inverted head and shoulders formation but that certainly has failed to transpire as you can see certainly negated thus far uh, the inverted head and shoulders formation certainly not gaining traction there at all certainly being being stopped very abruptly Okay, um, uh, we currently are now into double bottom support now at the 2361 zone, so certainly watch out for that. Okay, let's just keep observing how this uh, diagonal trend line plays out. All eyes on the in uh, downward sloping diagonal trend line. Let's see how that plays out for now. Okay, so certainly indicating weakness there, uh, okay, in terms of the, uh, the market itself. Okay, now the daily chart we've observed the 60 minute chart we've observed and again like i said watch out for the gap above at 2383 that certainly needs to uh, close okay in terms of the uh, the actual leader now let's look at the actual uh, russell itself let's see where russell is actually headed and indicated let's just go over to the russell bear with me let's bring up the chart of the russell Okay, here we go. iShare Russell 2000 certainly indicating weakness. Okay, so you are now coming into potential gap fill support in the Russell. Russell certainly hasn't followed the markets higher. 60 minute chart continues to show weakness. Pretty impressive weakness at that as well. Again, like I said, you have gap fill coming up on the Russell, so watch out for a potential bounce on the Russell 2000. Okay certainly looking for a blip higher okay now in terms of the dow let's see exactly where the dow jones is ever since caterpillar obviously a potential fraud case the dow certainly has been weak the daily chart of the dow at the moment is currently into gap fill support again okay so so another candidate that's in gap into gap fill support so watch out for a potential bounce here too okay uh, looking for gap fill support moving on to the 60 minute chart you certainly are coming into gap fill support, previous resistance equals support. So the Dow certainly is uh, set up for a potential bounce. Okay, Dow transportation, let's quickly go to the Dow transport. Certainly breaking low, as you can see, given the fact that we have weakness in oil. Having said that, weakness in oil should actually help the uh, Dow transports, given the uh, input costs certainly start to decline. So just certainly keep an eye on there. You are coming into support now around this region. Uh, you have 9150, support around 9200 as well. So let's watch out for support below, okay? 
Uh, again, uh, the counter argument really is higher interest rates. High interest rates are hawkish Fed, certainly is negative for the equity market. So just bear that in mind as well. Okay, so S and P certainly coming into support, double bottom support. Russell coming into support as well. If you bring up the Russell. Uh, quickly go to the 10 minute chart the Russell for you as well so you've got horizontal support down here so therefore looking for a potential bounce okay folks now even though Mr Draghi was hawkish that certainly hasn't deterred the European markets from actually uh, moving uh, moving lower and therefore watch for the uh, US markets uh, so should we see yet moving lower so watch for US markets certainly to push higher too so bear that in mind okay in terms of the Nasdaq, let's bring up the Nasdaq for you. Nasdaq it has a invert, has a HNS formation on the 60-minute uh, chart. The daily chart certainly has broke the uh, bullish uptrend. A HNS formation certainly brewing on the Nasdaq. Let's see exactly. Let's see if that can actually play out. Now the 10-minute chart at the moment is in support. There is an unfilled gap at 5390. Let's see if they allow. Let's see if the market is allowed to actually uh, close that gap. So all eyes on that potential gap above. Okay, in terms of the next market move. Okay, so uh, let's see exactly how the markets unfold. Uh, like I said, you have the uh, the Nasdaq itself. Uh, there is multiple support. Uh, no real catalyst at the moment in terms of U.S. markets to send them lower. If anything, one would argue you are going to move higher, given the fact that European markets finished in the uh, positive as well, except the FTSE 100. Oil certainly seems to be stabilising the the $49 level. So if you can get oil to stabilise, we should start to uh, tick higher, folks. So just bear that in mind. But again, all eyes on the 60-minute uh, chart, the HNS formation the and the NASDAQ. Again, one needs to exercise caution in that area or in that zone. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. And certainly take advantage of the, uh, the bonus. Goodbye now.